A public intervention exploiting a mentally ill actress, these celebs say Dr. Phil went too far. Fans recognize Nicholas Brendan for playing Xander Harris in the popular television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. While the show garnered him a cult-like fan following, his life was derailed by his bouts of depression, alcoholism, and various run-ins with the law. The actor appeared on The Dr. Phil Show in 2015, but his interview ended almost as quickly as it began. When the host began to question the actor on his current personal problems, Brendan got defensive. McGraw asked Brendan, didn't you get evicted because you broke all the windows out in a rage? Brendan got upset, saying, "'People aren't going to laugh at my f***ing life, Doc. I'm not going to do this. What do you want to talk about?' The interview ended when Dr. Phil told the actor he smelt alcohol on his breath, adding that he got a report the actor was out drinking the night prior. "'We're done. I'm not doing this. And, uh... Thank you, though. Thank you.'" Brendan took to Facebook after the interview to air his grievances. Brendan had been molested as a child, and he claimed Dr. Phil chastised his mother for not putting him in treatment at the time, writing, "'Dr. Phil had some hard words for my mother, who I love dearly and who I have caused more heartache than I care to remember.'" In response, a representative for the show told People magazine that Brendan, quote, "'chose to disengage before a dialogue with Dr. Phil ever began.'" Catch me outside, how about that? The words that took over social media and made a teenage girl famous. We're referring to Bad Baby or Danielle Bergoli, whose bad girl attitude garnered her international attention and became an instant meme. The troubled teenager went on The Dr. Phil Show in 2016, when her tendencies towards aggression and physical violence took a toll on her relationship with her mother. Little was accomplished during the sit-down, which led Bad Baby to ship off to the Turnabout Ranch in Utah, on Dr. Phil's recommendation after the interview. Interview. The Christian-based camp aims to correct behavioral issues, and it seemed to have done so for Bad Baby initially. She reappeared on the show following her stay and admitted she thought it would help her long-term. Her sass was ever-present, however. You were nothing before I came on this show. Bad Baby ultimately condemned Turnabout Ranch in 2021, however, admitting she was abused at the facility. In a YouTube video in partnership with Breaking Code Silence, the Instagram influencer admitted she was unable to shower for days and was subjected to various levels of punishments staffers felt necessary. So for the first three days you're there, there's no showering. She called out Dr. Phil for his role in sending her there, as well as fellow former Dr. Phil show guest Hannah Archuleta, who claimed she was sexually assaulted at the ranch during her stay. The camp said in a statement that they investigated Archuleta's claims but could not corroborate her story. What better way to get your point across than to team up with millionaire Paris Hilton? Hilton reportedly DM'd Bad Baby to partner up against abuse at troubled teen camps, according to TMZ. Hilton has been passionate about advocating for youth rights and got in contact with Bad Baby after hearing about her experience at Turnabout Ranch. Hilton has a history of advocating against abuse at behavior camps, and she accused Utah's Provo Canyon School of abusing her when she attended as a teenager. Hilton advocated for a Utah state bill that banned and cruel punishment at these facilities, and she was present at its passing in 2021. Hilton's work with Bad Baby aims to help raise awareness about Breaking Code Silence, an organization that helps support survivors of abusive behavior camps. Hilton told TMZ, I support all survivors who share their personal experiences within the trouble teen industry, and I am proud of Danielle for using her voice and her platform. People look up to Dr. Phil, and I want to make sure the show is accurately portraying these residential facilities to desperate families and not continuing to spread the false narrative that these places heal kids. Shelley Duvall made a name for herself in the 1980s with her starring lead roles in films like Popeye and The Shining, but decades later she lives a life out of the spotlight. The actor rarely gives interviews, partly due to the trauma she endured while filming The Shining. Despite her leaving Hollywood behind, she made a rare reappearance when Dr. Phil's team convinced her to do a sit-down interview at her Texas home. During her interview on The Dr. Phil Show, Duvall struggled to make coherent thoughts and rambled on, at one point saying that Robin Williams was still alive. I don't think he's dead. Where do you think he is? Shape-shifting. The sit-down exposed Duvall's mental health issues and drew loads of criticism from viewers who believed it exploited the star. Duvall herself regretted the interview, telling The Hollywood Reporter, "...I found out the kind of person he is the hard way. My mother didn't like him either." Despite the criticism surrounding the interview, Dr. Phil admitted on CNN that he didn't regret doing the interview, saying, "...there are parts of that story I haven't talked about and won't talk about in specifics, but I can say generally that we worked with her family." Amongst several high 
high-profile individuals who spoke out about Shelley Duvall's interview with Dr. Phil was actor Mia Farrow. She spoke out against Dr. Phil shortly after his explosive interview with Duvall, tweeting, There should be laws to protect mentally ill people from TV talk show predators like Dr. Phil, who is exploiting Shelley Duvall for his own gain. The interview also hit close to home for individuals who know Duvall in a personal light, including Vivian Kubrick, who is the daughter of Stanley Kubrick, the director of The Shining. Vivian called out Dr. Phil by tweeting out a statement with the caption, My letter to you, Dr. Phil. Re, your exploitive use of Shelley Duvall is a form of lurid entertainment and is shameful. I think there's a worrying disc inside me. Britney Spears had what the media dubbed a very publicized breakdown in 2008, and Dr. Phil inserted himself in the middle of the controversy. The drama began when Spears refused to relinquish custody of her two kids, whom she shares with her ex-husband Kevin Federline. It turned into a three-hour standoff with the police that ended with her being wheeled off in an ambulance to Los Angeles' Cedar sinai Medical Center. Who was there to check on the pop star in her time of need? Well, Dr. Phil, of course. The television personality paid a visit to the artist during her two-night stay at Lynn's request. After meeting with Spears, Dr. Phil made a statement to Entertainment Tonight, saying, "...my meeting with Britney and some of her family members this morning in her room at Cedars leaves me convinced more than ever that she is in dire need of both medical and psychological intervention." Lynn and Jamie weren't thrilled about the statement at the time, according to their former representative Lou Taylor. Taylor told Today, "...any public statements he made because he was brought in under this cloak of trust are just inappropriate." Don't come for Lindsay Lohan or her mother. Dr. Phil learned that lesson the hard way after having Lohan's mother, Dina, on The Dr. Phil Show in 2012. The interview was a train wreck, to say the least, with a television personality accusing her of putting on a different persona for the cameras and dodging questions. Dina seemed less thrilled about the host questioning her parenting style and more concerned about when the interview would end. Dr. Phil told Dina during the interview, "...we're probably going to be done here in just a very few minutes, so let's at least have a few minutes of authenticity." "...with these deflections and dodges, and that doesn't right. help." Viewers criticized her for her erratic behavior during the interview, with some accusing her of being drunk. Lindsay took to social media following the interview to give her take, and she clearly wasn't a big fan. She wrote, "...Dr. Phil, you should be ashamed of yourself. What kind of man takes advantage of a woman at her most vulnerable state? You are the fraud." Dina also spoke out about her time on Dr. Phil's show, telling TMZ she was not drunk and adding, I don't care what it looks like, I'm fine and I don't care what anyone says." Kim Richards has been open about her past struggles with alcohol addiction, especially since it was a major storyline during her tenure as a Beverly Hills housewife. The reality star's issues escalated, however, when she was arrested for public intoxication in 2015. Shortly after the controversy, Richards appeared on The Dr. Phil Show to talk about the incident, but it quickly escalated into an intervention-like situation that she hadn't signed up for. During the sit-down, Dr. Phil tried to convince her to begin treatment. After she complained about being away from her kids, and not being able to find a facility that fit her requirements, the host called her out for her diva-like behavior. You just need to tell me you'll trust the process and, and not make a bunch of you gotta meet this demand and that demand. At one point, she protested. Is this an intervention? No. <laughs> Is it feeling like one right now? When Dr. Phil told Richards he had arranged a local treatment program to help her get sober, the reality star was immediately uncomfortable. I have a lot of anxiety right now. Okay, just relax. I know, I don't. I have no, a lot of anxiety. Uh, sit down. I'm sorry, I can't. Ultimately, Richards turned the corner on her road to sobriety and entered rehab for the fourth time following her 2016 arrest. In 2019, she told Entertainment Tonight that her new career as a Reiki practitioner has helped her stay sober. 